All right, look at what we have here, guys. Big Bertha. All right, let's open this inverter and see what's inside. What? Okay. As far as I can tell, this is the DC side, right? This is someone put a uh, switch here, I think to bypass those, right? So those are probably normally closed. That means they require power to, to engage the inputs to the batteries here and there. Um, positive and then negative. This should be black. <laughs> I guess they didn't have black. Anyways, this seems like someone did it. You come in here, you uh, disconnect it, and it turns those off, and then the battery power is disconnected from this guy. But once it goes from there, and then it goes in here, here's the weird thing, the negative side of the battery pack, uh, up to 600 volts, then just loops over, and then it just goes to ground. This, this box is grounded to negative battery negative does that sound right that's weird i thought you know you would have these systems isolated or whatever but uh, from there the positive goes over to this transformer here right and then from there it goes up through the back here and that's the positive. So it feeds those things. What uh, I imagine these are the big giant semiconductors. It's a big, you know, transistor, IGBT MOSFET. <laughs> I don't know what you would call that, but I think that is the semiconductor. And then there's two of those, right? So that's the positive there. The negative goes straight out here to these caps. And these caps are the DC caps. Um, this is the negative. It goes on that side, on the inside, and then, or, you know, yeah, I don't know. On this side is the positive, negative. On this side is the positive. So this is the positive side. And then those basically feed uh man something should be connected here you think no so then those feed the other side of the transistors and then all of that ends up coming here do you see those see those three uh fuses there those are the three faces that come out of this and then those three faces run on these cables right here we go that's what they end up three faces they go into this transformer here this blue one and then from there it jumps over to this other transformer here and uh which i don't know if that's a transformer it seems like maybe those are inductors there are three of them because there are three faces and then from there they leave and they go to this other this probably this is not enough induction so they just add in series another one and then from there they go straight out um, to what this says transformer ports 480 volts and then it just specifies the kind of cable that you should use two odd or four odd aluminum two odd copper or four odd aluminum so we have copper and so we have two odd that's pretty cool um then there are these other things here which i don't know what they are what are all those things i'll have to look at the manual here to see that but it's got fans to cool the IGBTs. There are uh, the DC caps. I believe these probably are the AC caps. No, you can't. Can you have ice? 
AC caps. I don't know what these are. What are those plug into? Nothing big. Just something small. Those are big giant caps just to be plugged into that. I think they're plugged in there on the back side. Nope. I don't know what these are doing here. And I don't really know what's up with that. Yep. And then this is the logic board. And that is your typical 100 kilowatt inverter. This one is made by Princeton Power Systems. And according uh, to my sources, this is the exact same uh, inverter that Tesla used to use on their early power packs. So we're essentially using this guy with our batteries, right? Uh, it's it's as close as it gets to Tesla power pack. I mean even the same voltage right I'm um, 355 they're 440 so they're a little bit higher right so But yeah, and this is the thing that is usually really really expensive somewhere around fifty thousand dollars But we found it used for less than ten thousand dollars. So uh, It's supposed to be good it's supposed to have been removed from a recent installation and it was working. Uh, we don't really know why it was removed, but it was removed. And that's a good thing for us because now then we have it and we can use it. All right, I can't help but notice something weird going on here you see that giant box that I just showed you is a 100 kilowatt inverter which is pretty pretty impressive and yet at the same time it's not because you see what you're looking at here is essentially an 80 kilowatt inverter yeah this little thing here thing I've been playing for now what four years I've done like three cars with this actually the actually the Jeep had two of them. two controllers because this car is gonna have two motors and so everything is double here uh, so it's actually a hundred and fifty hundred forty hundred and fifty kilowatt so it's not that impressive so that big giant box is not that impressive or this thing is very very impressive all right, guys, before I go, I want to show you something. You know how these megawall, this one megawatt uh, power pack was going to be using this little small inverters? Well, since that has changed and we are going to use a big giant inverter, that means that these are extras. We don't have a use for them. And so I want to offer them to you, right? And so to sweeten out the deal, I mean, we can just return them and get a refund. But where's the fun in that, right? Someone, one of you guys out there watching this right now needs this. This is a 4.4 kilowatt uh, Magnusine Magnum inverter. It runs on 48 volts. And here is 13 kilowatt hours of Bosch cells, right? These are not for sale yet, but since we have six inverters, I figure I bundle them with uh, 13 kilowatt hours and then sell you this at a very low discounted price together with that and then someone is going to be interested in this whole thing as a kit so so if that's you let me know there's only six of them and they're probably going to go very very quick because there's a deal to get these batteries before anyone else and at a very discounted price um here are the details With that oh my god it's so hot in california but with that i'll thank you for watching this video 
and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye. All right, this is the P100. No, this is not the P100. This is the P90D. <laughs> you sound like upset about it. This, oh, it's just the P90. It's just the P90D. It's just the P90. Uh, getting so, a wash. So last year, do we? Yeah, so this year. is old news. You yeah. should you should be you should turn it in and get get the real 